Hello everyone. Welcome to you all once again to Learn More YouTube channel. Today again I am here with a new topic. Topic is about flowchart. I have one question related to flowchart. Okay, let's uh, get into the question. Question is uh, draw flowchart to find draw flowchart to find simple interest and total amount. Okay. Today I'm gonna to solve this question related to project. Let's solve the question. Okay, what uh, we need to do is, uh, as you all know that our project is a graphical representation of any program. Okay, um, it means it uses different shapes and size. Okay, let's uh, start the project. Okay. Let's go to insert, then after we have to use different shapes to draw flowchart. Okay, at first, our uh, flowchart always st start with oval or terminal symbol that is like this symbol. Then, after what you need to do is at first start right click and add text, you will see. Then, after you can tag there, start. Let me increase the font size. Okay, and after it start, our flowchart always starts with terminal or oval symbol that is start at first. And then after let's use arrow. Okay, then after what is the question? You need to understand question at first. Simple interest. Simple interest means what is the formula to find simple interest? Principal into time into rate divided by 100. This is our formula to find simple interest. It means principal multiplication time multiplication rate divided by 100. This is your formula to find simple interest. Uh, okay, let's input them let's input principal let's input time let's input rate okay to input we have parallelogram symbol parallelogram symbol let's use that parallelogram symbol you can find here parallelogram symbol over here to input and to display the output we have to use Parallelogram symbol. Okay, this is your parallelogram symbol. Symbol. Okay, let's put it into here. And after, okay, right click over here. And after, add text. You can write read. 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 Principal. as t comma t comma r here we have inserted here we have inserted principal time rate this is input we are giving at first input now after giving input, what we need to do is let's increase the font size as well. After inserting input, what we need to do is now, now we use processing box. Processing box is a rectangle. Now let's find the rectangle box. Here it is. Now next one is a rectangle. Now here we have to use formula. What is the formula just I told that is P principal T time R rate divided by 100. Okay, let's use the arrow in between them. Okay, now what we have to use, let's take one variable that is SI. 
let's use this let's use the si variable to store si is equal to capital p multiplication sign capital p into t into here you have used capital p capital t capital r so here also you have to use capital p capital t capital r divided by 100 this is your formula to find simple letters now next is total amount also what is the formula to find total amount total amount ta let's use ta variable to store total amount ta total amount is equal to the formula is principal for principal we are, we are using t variable principal plus si as i simple integer this is your formula principal plus simple integers now what we need to do we need to display simple integers we have calculated total amount we have calculated now we need to display at first input in parallel ground read principal time read as ptr then after rectangle box processing box si is equal to p into t into r divided by 100 this is your formula to find simple integers and total amount is equal to p plus si this is your formula to find total amount now we have calculated simple integers and total amount now let's display them to display again we use parallelogram symbol let's find the parallelogram symbol here it is parallelogram symbol you can find here then after let's make the parallelogram symbol uh, yes here it is parallelogram symbol and let's use arrow let's use arrow here it is arrow okay. straight arrow then after you can do Now right click over here and after add text and you can write here display display si si comma ta yes your answer is stored in si variable and ta variable simple interest is stored in si variable and total amount is stored in ta variable so you have to use here si and ta let's increase the font size over here from here that looks nice now finally we have completed now finally we have to use stop arrow let's use one small arrow over here and after to stop what we have to use we have to use again terminal symbol or you can see oval shape over here oval shape and right click over here after add text then you can write here stop yes, stop okay like this way you can design flow chart in ms word as well okay this is your to chart to find simple interest and total amount at first start then after you need to input principal time rate then after you have to use formula the formula to find simple interest is p into t into r upon 100 and the formula to find total amount is principal plus simple interest formula on this we have to use in processing box that is a rectangle shape then after after calculating simple interest and total amount you need to display it and displaying what is done in always parallelogram that is output shape and finally the oval shape and stop our flow chart is complete i hope you understood the flow chart point simple interest and total amount if you like the video please subscribe the channel for all the video related to computer.
सो एम सेक्टर को प्रोटेक्ट यू वेरी मच